you might be wondering how I ended up camping with my cat. This is Peter. Peter is an old friend that loves sailboats, starting projects and gathering people together. He convinced this Korean company to let him test their fancy looking dome duplex. He's never built it before and asked a few friends to help him. I had no one to leave my cat with, plus she loves being outside, so I took her with us. Is it a good idea to go camping with a cat? Well, cats can enhance your camping experience because it's quite magical seeing them interact with nature. Mia, yeah. No. And it's comforting to have a cat curled up on your lap near the campfire. Taking a cat camping, it's not for every cat, nor for every family. After prepping for the trip, I realized that there's a lot that goes into planning a camping trip with a cat. From habituating the cat, dealing with the litter box, eating the right tent, or even what to do with a cat while you're building your tent and your cat is seeking attention. I'll cover all of these and more in this video. When we arrive at the camping spot, Mia has been in a car for two hours and she's ready to go for a walk. She wants to sniff everything and mark everything with her pheromone so that later on, if she roams around, she can find her way back to the tent. My first priority when arriving at the campsite is to allow Mia to enjoy herself and find those places that she wants to mark. She will do that by rubbing herself against them or scratching them. I also try to provide her very early on a place to protect herself from the sun as well as some litter access, which in this in this case, because we are at a massive beach, she's got plenty of. Oh, and remember, pick up the feces after your cat's done, because it's good mojo. I have a full video talking about how to take your cat on a car ride and helping them enjoy it. So I'll just drop the link here and we can keep on talking about camping, which is what you came here for. While we build a tent, I would like to share with you 10 tips that are going to really help you if you go camping with your cat. Tip one, start slow. Forcing an indoor cat to go on a camping trip if they have never been outdoors, might be too abrupt and might even cause trauma. For an indoor cat, you should allow them first to adjust to the outdoors, starting with leash walking or backpack exploring first. There's plenty of videos about training a cat to walk on a leash in this channel, so I'm not going to get deep into it. I'm going to add the link in the description box below, and if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing in the channel. Tip number two, plan a short camping trip. Begin by camping with your cat a single night at a safe campsite. Keeping your camping trip short will make it more comfortable for you and for your cat to adapt and then you can make the trips longer as you and your cat become more comfortable. Tip number three, beware of the weather. Both excessively cold or extreme hot can be dangerous temperatures for your pet. Better be careful with your f***ing mouth. Your cat will be more comfortable in temperatures that go between 60 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, so between 18 and 24 Celsius. Colder or warmer temperatures than that are going to make the experience hard for both you and your cat. Tip number four, make sure that the campsite you pick is pet friendly. There are some campsites where dogs and cats are not allowed. If you end up in a campsite that they don't allow pets because you didn't check it, you're going to make the experience a little uncomfortable because either you will need to improvise or you will need to sneak the cat inside and that would make it impossible for your cat to go out and explore, which is the number one reason why we would take our cats camping. Which takes me to the tip number five. Prioritize your cat's well-being. Whenever in doubt, pick the choice that's going to make your cat more comfortable. So as I was saying before, you arrive at the campsite, you're ready to build a tent, but your cat is eager to explore. What should I do? Go and explore with your cat. That's why you're taking them. When they are tired and satisfied, you go build a tent. You're going to see that it's way more productive. Tip number six, provide your cat a safe space. Some cats might not feel comfortable roaming around while you build a tent. If that's the case of your cat, it's a good idea to provide them with a space where they can unwind and disconnect because they feel safe. Their carrier, a cat cave, or even a cat tent are good options for that. Tip number seven, bring plenty of water and food. Cats have sensitive stomachs, so you should stock up plenty of food so that your cat doesn't have to switch brands during the trip. And if you wouldn't drink that water, your cat shouldn't. So bring along a water filter or some water for your cat as well. If your cat is not a big water drinker, wet food is going to help your cat stay hydrated.
Tip number eight, bring a long leash. A long leash is going to provide your cat more room and freedom to explore the outdoors. Tethering your cat is not recommended, particularly if they are unattended. Cats are great at escaping from harnesses. Which brings me to the next tip. Tip number nine, harness train your cat before the trip. It can take a while to harness train a cat and a cat that is comfortable on a harness is a cat that it's not going to try to escape from that harness. I designed the harness that Mia is wearing because there was nothing in market that I felt comfortable with. It's available for sale on our website as well as on Amazon. I'm going to add the links in the description box on them. Tip number 10. Bring a portable litter box. Even if your cat is usually comfortable making their number ones and number two outdoors in the wild, sometimes there might be a dog or something that makes your cat anxious. A portable litter box, it's going to give your cat the freedom to choose where they feel more comfortable and happy to attend the nature calling. And you might be wondering, what's this massive tent that these people are using? Well, Peter, the guy that I mentioned earlier, was on a trade show and he fell in love with this tent. I don't know how he did it, but he put his hands on a sample to try it out. This tent is going to launch in Kickstarter on October 18. And just in case that this video blows up and it's still kicking in the future, we're talking about October 2022. I will add the link of the Kickstarter campaign in the description box below, just in case you want to put your hands on one as well. It's a very premium tent, it's made out of titanium, which makes it a little heavy to carry, but it looks sick because it has two floors, one with a regular tent and the other one with a hammock. I would not mind spending a whole week in this tent. If you're wondering if your cat would be happy sleeping in a tent, the answer will vary depending on how comfortable your cat is being outdoors and how strong the bond and the trust they have with you is. As you might expect the cat that has had little to no exposure to outdoors might have a hard time sleeping if you take them camping. Regarding your sleep, you're going to sleep a lot better if your cat is wearing a harness that you can trust and that it's going to be hard for your cat to escape from. This is what I designed, what I believe is the best cat harness out there. So check out this video to understand why.